CAT8, also known as Category 8 Ethernet, is the fastest Ethernet cable standard today because there is no CAT9 yet. Although Google tried to make fiber optics the standard for home internet connections, Ethernet has maintained a serious presence. In every few years, new iterations are released that offer better performance, which means faster speeds, higher bandwidth, and yes, lower latency. And CAT8 speeds can reach up to 40 gigabits per second over 30 meters or 98 feet. And that's pretty impressive. And CAT8 also has an astounding 2000 megahertz of bandwidth, which means more traffic can flow on the cable without causing network congestion. It's like a super highway with 30 lanes instead of five. More lanes is more better. But the question that we need to answer today in this video is do most homes even need this much ethernet power? Well, let's dig deep into this CAT8 cable and find out. And we're gonna perform a real world test to see if CAT8 makes a difference. And guys, make sure to hit subscribe, like, share, and comment. It really helps the algorithm. Thanks. So in order to answer this important question, we first need to talk about CAT8 specifications. First, CAT8 uses RJ45 connectors, which means it works on consumer grade routers, switches, and network interface cards. So it's compatible with all your networking equipment. And that's great news. Like I said before, CAT8 provides 40 gigabits per second at 98 feet and 2000 megahertz of bandwidth while providing lower latency. Now CAT8 shielding is shielded foil twisted pair, which means each pair of wires is wrapped in foil, which reduces crosstalk from adjacent pairs and other cables. This allows for the highest level of security against interference. And lastly, CAT8 is 22 to 24 AWG. AWG stands for American Wire Gauge, which is the North American standard. And the larger the number, the smaller the wire diameter. That makes sense. So let's get brutally honest. The truth is most homes don't even have one gig internet speeds or even 500 megabits per second internet speeds. According to speedtest.net, the average American download speed in 2022 was a little over 256 megabits per second. And the global average internet speeds were even slower at a measly 30 megabits per second. And that's pretty slow. So you can see where this is going. You see, CAT8 speeds are theoretical at best. And yes, guys, before you get triggered, I know, I know, in labs and servers and massive data centers, CAT8 does provide the 40 gigabits per second and the 2000 megahertz of bandwidth. But in residential homes and most business environments, 40 gigabits per second is a pipe dream. That's because the equipment that's necessary to achieve those speeds is very, very expensive. And most IT budgets just won't allow for it. So installing CAT8, or CAT7 will be a waste of money because you're only gonna get one gig speeds with one gig compatible networking equipment. In the best case scenario, you might get 2.5 gig or 10 gig if you have upgraded routers, switches, and network interface cards. But once again, you're spending more money and that could blow your IT budget out of the water. So to prove my point, let's test our PS5 with a one gig CAT6 riser cable versus a 40 gig CAT8, and we'll see if CAT8 makes a difference. We're gonna do three tests per cable and then take the average of each cable, and we'll see who the winner is. All right, our first speed test result is in, and CAT8 performed at 436.1 megabits per second, and CAT6 riser cable performed at 413.8 megabits per second. All right, our second speed test result, CAT8 performed at 444.3 megabits per second, and the CAT6 riser cable performed at 410.5 megabits per second. Okay, our third and last speed test, CAT8 performed at 410.5 megabits per second, and the CAT6 riser cable performed at 386.5 megabits per second. And the final results are in. CAT8 did perform better, just slightly better than the CAT6 cable. The average for the CAT8 was 436.1 megabits per second, and the CAT6 riser cable came in at an average of 410.5 megabits per second. However, this is very minimal, which does prove that CAT6 riser cable is plenty for your PS5. But the CAT8 cable did perform better, so CAT8 does win. CAT5e, CAT6, CAT6A and CAT7 cannot compete with CAT8 in terms of frequency and speed, but they are much better suited for home applications. So the simple answer is you don't need CAT8 for your home network. And that means CAT6 or CAT6A would be the optimal choice because CAT6A can run 10 gig speeds. However, installing CAT8 into your home network will give you bragging rights with all your nerdy friends. So do as you will, my nerdy friend, and make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.